Hey everyone, my name is Karanya Gupta and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to discuss an interesting dynamic programming problem. Minimum number of deletion and insertions to transform a string to another. Let's start. Given a two strings S1 and S2, count the minimum number of deletion and insertion operations required to transform S1 into S2 by inserting and deleting the characters. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. So in this example 1, as an input we have s1 equals to great and s2 equals to create. So the output for this input will be 1 deletion and 2 insertion. So we need to delete g from s1 and insert c and e to s1 to transform it into s2. Let's take another example. As an input, the s1 is bright and S2 is night. So your task is to convert from S1 to S2 by doing two operations insertion and deletion. So the output of this input will be two deletion and one insertion. So we need to delete B and R and insert N to S1 to transform it into S2. Let's take the final example. S1 equals to taught and S2 equals to forgot. So we have these two strings and we have to convert dot to forgot. So it requires 4 deletion and 4 insertion. So we need to delete T A U H and insert F O R O to S1 to transform it into S2. So I hope guys from this example it is clear to you what we have to do. We have given a two string and we have to transform from S1 to S2 and we have authorized to only perform two operations either deletion or insertion. So we have to convert S1 to S2 by doing minimum number of deletion and insertion. Let's try to build the algorithm around it. So I have taken an input S1 equals to Java 8 and S2 equals to algorithm. So our task is we have to transform a string S1 Java 8 to a string S2 which is algorithm. And we have only two operations insertion or deletion. So we have to find out the minimum number of insertion and deletion required to transform from Java 8 to algorithm. To transform S1 to S2, operation will be minimum when most of the things will be common and that common string or character should be in a same sequence also because if the common string or the characters are not in a sequence, they will not be able to utilize it. So the string or character which are common in both the string that should be in a proper sequence. Basically it should have the same sequence in both the string. Right? So it should be common sequence. And as we know we have to find out the minimum number of insertion and deletion. So the operation will be minimum when most of the things are common. So we can say in other terms if we have most of the characters are in a proper sequence then it requires less number of insertion and deletion. So here we are looking for the longest sequence which is common in both the string. So if you combine these three terms, you will come up with a longest common sequence. If we know the length of longest common sequence, it means these many characters can be utilized to transform from S1 to S2. You don't need to touch these characters at all. Apart from that, whatever is extra in S1, that character we have to delete and we have to add the character which is extra in S2. That we'll see guys in couple of seconds. So we are interested to find out what is the longest common sequence in both the string. So the main question comes here guys how to find out the length of longest common sequence. Guys we don't know how to calculate the longest common sequence. But if you remember in previously we have solved one else's problem which is the short form of longest common subsequence. And we know subsequence is a subset of sequence. So basically, sequence can be replaced with the subsequence. So if we know the LCS of these two strings, that LCS we can utilize here. So the LCS of these two strings, S1 and S2, will be 2. It means there are only at max 2 letters which is common in both the string in a proper sequence. So apart from that, whatever is there, it is extra. So because we are going to transform S1 to S2, so in S1, whatever is extra apart from these two characters, we have to delete. 
so the number of delayed operation will be s1 length minus lcs of these two and the similar way for s2 whatever the character we have extra so we have to insert that so the insertion will be s2 length minus lcs of s1 and s2 because the two characters will remain the same apart from that each and everything we have to insert by using this formula we can get the number of deletion and insertion operation guys those who are not aware how to calculate the lcs i have already uploaded a video in my channel so you can just go to the top right corner and refer that video that video will explain the four different ways to calculate the lcs so now based on this i am going to write a simple algorithm which will look something like this calculate the length of lcs of the two strings s1 and s2 and to transform s1 into s2 we need to delete everything from s1 which is not part of lcs so the minimum deletion we need to perform from s1 equals to s1 length minus lcs length and similarly we need to insert everything in s1 which is present in s2 but not part of our lcs so the minimum insertion we need to perform in s1 equals to s2 length minus lcs length so this is the shortest algorithm guys and here we are utilizing our lcs problem which we have solved earlier so how our code will look like guys so transform s1 to s2 so method name is transform s1 to s2 here s1 and s2 are the two string parameter so we are going to call find lcs length function and what this function does this function will calculate the lcs longest common subsequence of these two string which we have already know guys how we are going to write that function if you need help guys so you can check out the top right corner there i have explained four different ways to calculate the length of longest common subsequence and once you know the length of longest common subsequence so you can print the minimum deletion required will be s1 length minus lcs length and minimum insertions required will be s2 length minus lcs length let's see the quick demo guys so this is the function guys transform s1 to s2 we are accepting two string it is the same function guys what we have just discussed so the find lcs length right so this function guys i have written a one short function here that internally calls one function which will calculate the lcs length why because if you remember we are not using direct string in our lcs problem we are converting into a character array then using it so this function does only the same thing we are accepting two strings and converting into a character array and these are the length of these two array and calling the main function longest common subsequence dot lcs m4 what is lcs m4 guys it's a method 4 I have explained four different approaches to solve this problem so I am using a fourth one the fourth method because this is the most optimized and efficient solution and calling by passing this parameter so let me show you the what is lcs m4 guys just quickly so if you see guys this is the function which I am going to call and those who want to know more about it please watch the previous tutorial on this topic so currently we will focus on this method so once you know the lcs of these two string we'll just utilize here so here very less coding you have to do guys so guys here we are utilizing one standard problem to find the solution of this problem let's try to run this program so the input will be we have to convert from java 8 to algorithm so the minimum deletion required is 5 and the minimum insertion required is 7 so the output of this problem will be 5 and 7 i hope guys you have enjoyed this tutorial if you find it useful please like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching guys